Morning gardeners, we're going to be doing a little bit of decorating. Um, we're going to be adding some different forms of Tillandsia to what would be a normally pretty boring um, tree stump, I guess. So these ones are from a native called Ivory Curl, which is a, a grevillea, and they're a smooth trunk, so nothing really sticks really well to them initially, but using a little bit of plant tie um, attached to them, then we can then add our different forms of eucinoides. This is the green form, the thinner form, because it's a shadier area of the garden. I use the thinner form over here versus the thicker Guatemalan form, which is the more blue, darker form. I use that over at the other sides of the property, but here it's always in shade, so the thin form survived quite well. This is the thicker form here, so you can clearly see the difference between the two of them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add to all of these tree ties what I'm doing is I'm adding tree ties every probably 50 centimeters or so up each trunk and then in between I've added a Bill Berger this one is a uh, Ralph Graham French in the center um, so no pot they're epiphytes they don't need to be grown in a pot but obviously you can see a great big root ball there and it's in a fork where there's tree fall leaves and things like that that'll feed this plant there's also in this tree some olandiana and if we come around the other side we'll see we've got some of the eucinoides already growing as well as a variegated olandiana and that one's ensign or reverse that one's reverse ensign um, so what we're going to do is we're going to finish decorating this tree and add some more Olandiana to it as well and come back and see how it looks. So I've gone along and I've collected some Olandiana. Um, I've cut away some of the smaller and larger ones. We've got a couple of different forms. This is Olandiana's Best Black, as you can see. It's a beautiful black variety. Um, we also have Rainbow and we also have one of the pink forms as well. Um, so I'm going to put the pink form on the side that gets the most sun. I also have a green form as well, which is one of the species which grows best in shade. Also already got these growing as epiphytes on the trees. These have been here a couple of years now. So they were tied originally up a couple of years ago, just as a single plant. So I'm trying to get in there and you can see all of the babies that are growing up the tree. So these ones are rainbow. I've also then added uh, some eucinoides to the bottom of them as well. So we're going to do the same thing to the other tree. We're just going to do it um, in um, scaled up form. So we're going to add additional numbers and um, make quite a big display. So the first thing is that the eucinoides um, has been moved away. And what we're going to do is we're going to select out some of the really big landianas they're going to be the feature plants up higher. Um, so this particular one is already in flower and it has a pup attached. There's a particular direction that pup's growing that I'm going to need to wrap it around the tree as well to make sure that its root system attaches to it. And then each of the others will be really simple because when I cut them, I always cut them with a heel attached like so, so they can go flush up against the tree, which is what we're going to do now. All right, so I'll land the end number one well secured in an upright position you only need to come along um, every other day maybe just tilt them back up if they do happen to um, go off in either direction so this is the one that has the baby attached down the bottom um, so it's been double tied up flush um, to the tree this one is maturing in flower um, this one is um, what the best black so if I zoom in you'll see the gorgeous black bands on this one Okay, so no coloration at all to the green. So it doesn't get any of the colors, the pinks, the reds, um, or the sort of flushes that uh, a rainbow, for example, gets. These just get blacker and blacker in their base. So that's the first step of that one done, but it's not finished because we need to cover the plant tie because the plant tie is a little unsightly. So we need to deal with that with a little bit of decoration. All right, so the plant tie around the base that you saw the black line it's all now hidden so we've just added some juncia and we've added some um, grandfather's beard or eucinoides the wide form 
um, and just done that all the way around. Added another Orlandiana, another black one as well. Try to keep the same forms together when I grow them on the trees. And these are going to go up several layers. So we're going to have several different layers of them climbing up this tree, all the way around the tree, completely encasing what was a boring um, tree stump. Let's try to make that a little bit more attractive throughout the day. So all the Alandiana blacks have now been tied and secured to the tree. So they're all secured really well. And they're all with their roots at the back closest to the tree where they will attach. See like this one, this is its stump. They're the roots which will eventually attach itself to the tree. And eventually the twines won't be required. They'll rot away over time anyway. So same with up higher, the next ones up have all been secured a little bit more towards the centre, just so that it gives them a little bit more security, stops them going side to side, so not securing them on their little heels, securing them a little bit further up. That way they don't twist side to side. This way they stay open formed, they'll still collect lots of water. These will be treated completely um, naturally as epiphytes, they won't be getting any additional food or water, um, just what is provided naturally. And now we're going to disguise all of the rest of the ties and finish off this display. All finished. A few moments later, we've um, concealed the plant tie around each of the bands, added the eusthenoides, added some juncia, um, and ended up with a really nice, attractive aged display already to the garden. Looks good all the way around. They're pretty. Easy to do. Grown as epiphytes, they will just get water from nature, unless I'm hosing, where they might get a little bit extra. Otherwise, uh, the open vase will allow them to get some nutrients from fallen tree leaf litter inside them where they'll get their nutrients so they don't require any additional food or food or fluids or anything else. Um, they just grow and look pretty and as they mature, as I said, as this crump on this tree has been doing for a couple of years, you can see the babies growing upwards from the parent plant secured by a root system and they'll continue to grow up the tree. So remembering everywhere where these have been planted above them the spaces will be filled um, over time so you don't need to go all the way up so a couple of meters up is what I've done I've gone up to about a meter and a half about two meters high um, on this particular one I've done two layers all the way around just to form a bit of a display pretty happy with the results and then in between is a Bill Berger, like I said, Ralph Graham French, um, um, a really tough Bill Berger as well. And on the other side, there is a um, variegated form of Olandiana, which is ensign verse form. All done. Happy gardening. Bye now.